What's up guys? So today we are driving an hour and a half to go to Riverside to try some Indian food. This restaurant is a bit different because it's like located in someone's home and apparently it's really good. So I'm super excited to try it. I placed my order yesterday. They usually sell out like every single day in the morning. One hour later. How's it going? Uh, I placed an order. Do oh, I your dad, April is bringing. Okay. Oh, they're making fresh for you. Okay. Uh, I do text it. I have to text them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Text him, I'm here, so they bring it right away. Okay. Uh, Yo, yes. Yeah, Manu, Thank are you cool with being on camera? Uh, If you could give me like five minutes, I could do something for y'all. Oh, for sure, for sure. Just get her order out. Oh, no problem. They pack so much. Wait, how many layers is there? There's one. I don't even know if we ordered this one. one. So I'm here with Manu, right? Yeah, Manu. Manu yeah. from Cali. Darka, is that how Darka, you pronounce it? Yep. The man, the myth, the legend. Uh, can you tell him a little bit about what you guys do and how uh, long you guys been in business? Yeah, so uh, I'm the owner of Cali Tarka. We're the first permitted home restaurant in Riverside. And we pretty much started five years ago without a license. We got shut down pretty much. We, we didn't really care about the business that much, but once the pandemic hit, I just wanted to do business full time. So I dropped out of college, made my mom quit her job. And from there, it's been about two and a half years going full time. Gotcha. And what, what's next? Pretty much by 2025, you're going to see a location in Riverside for sure. Okay. Yeah. There you have it. Make sure you guys come check it out. I'm about to go review the food. Hell yeah. It looks so good. I'm super excited to try it, but yeah, I appreciate you, my man. Appreciate you guys, bro. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hell yeah. Try Indian food? Say less. Here we have the chicken tikka masala fries. We also got the butter chicken and chicken tikka masala with rice. It came with naan bread as well as samosas. All right, we're going to dive right in. First bite. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, I got a vegetable. <laughs> I need chicken. Where's chicken? Hold up. Second bite. I think we only ordered medium spice, but I'm so glad I didn't order spicy because like it's got a kick to it. I can't handle spice, but it's good. Butter chicken, nice and yellow like me. Wait, what? Butter chicken isn't spicy, but it's good. Why haven't I heard about this place sooner? See, I mm. usually hate Indian food, but this is good. They don't mess with the spice out here. Yeah, the rice is uh, the rice is really good. It's not just regular rice. It's like basmati rice. Like this is this is really good, especially coming out of like a like a house, right? Yeah. I guess for me, the only thing I would change about it, if anything, is just the rice. It's because I'm personally not used to this texture of rice. Yeah, I like I like the rice like this. So for me, this is a 9.8 out of 10. No, this is super good. Uh, what would you rate it out of 10? I'd say 10 out of 10. Brown boys up. Brown good boys job, up. Uh, yeah. Uh, Manu. And then finally, we have the naan bread. This one smells amazing, so I'm like really stoked to try it. That's what Yo, it is. it's actually bigger than my face. That's crazy. The butter chicken. Yo. That just soaks up all the flavor. I'm gonna put some tikka masala on there. Dude, on this is like a Indian chipotle. Yeah. I wonder if like in the video you could just see us like sweating even more and more. Profound sweating. Oh. That is a 10 out of 10. This naan bread is crazy. All right, screw the review. I'm gonna just go finish this off camera. We're gonna pour the mango lassi in some cups. Wait, how do I dump this? Yo, that's solid. Next up, we're gonna try the mango lassi. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers, guys. Mmm, <laughs> it's very thick consistency. Super mango-y, uh, obviously. <laughs> I can just kill this right now. Yeah. Maybe we should have got ice. I could just run in real quick. All right, here, leave me with these people. Yeah, just say whatever you want to say. Don't All get right. me canceled. Jerry asked me to come because I'm Indian. Uh, he asked if I was going to be working at the 7-Eleven late at night, which I told him that I've never worked at a 7-Eleven. I got the ice. <clears throat> nice. All right, let's see if it tastes better. It took a while to get cold. Yeah, it hasn't turned cold yet. <laughs> it reminds me of like Jamba Juice. I don't know if that's a fair comparison. Obviously Jamba Juice doesn't sell these, but like mango smoothie. It does have like a, a Jamba Juice consistency. All right, for the mango lassi, no complaints about this. Honestly, I'll give this like a 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, I'd give it the same. I, uh, I usually don't like mango lassi, but this one I'll drink again. Next up, we have the chicken tikka masala fries. Cheers, guys. Cheers. All right, let's get it. 
It's like really sweet. Fries are a bit soggy just because we waited like we waited like oh, half yeah. an hour before we ate this. But it has it's not like spicy. It's more sweet than it is spicy. Honestly, I prefer the, the Greg special over this. Yeah, I'd say I prefer the Greg special of this. When I eat fries, I kind of just want just fries. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. I think that's a fair rating. Next up we have the samosas. Ooh, nice and flaky. Alright. I don't know, I just got a mouthful, mouthful of bread. Yeah, it's like a big bite. Two bites, samosa challenge. That's light work. It's just kind of hot, so I don't know if I can yeah. shut this down. It is very well seasoned on the inside. Really peppery feel. There's also some green peas inside, and it's really flaky on the outside. You can definitely taste the triangle shape. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> like, when I, when, when I take a bite, I just hear like a thing. <laughs> but yeah, personally, not the biggest fan of the samosas. This is personally too heavy for me, just because it's a lot of starch in the middle, and all the breading on the outside makes my mouth kind of dry. I'm gonna have to give it like a eight out of 10. All right, so the Hog Racks sent me this package which has two different barbecue sauce in it. It's like an early uh, Christmas gift, but beautiful packaging, 10 out of 10. We're gonna try out the sauce with some Popeyes. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, perfect. Here we have the original premium barbecue sauce from the Hogs Rack. It's nice and sweet. I was expecting it to be a little more tangy. Got some more sauce, going in for a second bite. It's nice, sweet, and smoky. I'm gonna spin it, ooh, okay. Woo! It's the California spicy flavor. I don't taste the heat on it. Did you pour the right one? Yeah, it's so spicy, right? Yeah, maybe my spice levels are off the charts, but yeah, this one has a very small kick to it, but it does feel more sweet than it is spicy. I could definitely see myself using this sauce to marinate my meats in, and even just dipping any food in there. I do wish the spicy version was a bit spicier than it is, but overall, the tanginess, the smokiness, the sweetness, it's all there. Definitely check out the Hogs Rack if you ever see it in stores. They're all handcrafted from Fairfield, California. Shout out to the Hogs Rack. Thanks for sending me these. Yeah, so I forgot to make an outro earlier. So I'm gonna try to record this while I try. Oh, okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you like seeing these like mini vlogs that I do, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll make more of these in the future. But yeah, I've been wanting to make food reviews for the longest time and being able to go out and do stuff like this is already a dream come true. I have about an hour and a half drive back home and I have to get back to work. So the grind don't stop. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.